Hi everybody. I realize my sign is probably backwards today. This is Kara with Club Pilates and McKinney. You're on the Club Pilates and McKinney Facebook page, so I'm guessing you have probably seen me before. Um, so today is we're going to do a, a cardio-ish workout, getting some movement in those legs for sure, some arm work. I have a um, small ball and a small set of dumbbells. You can do this without either one if you don't have either one handy. If not, run, grab it for a second while I give you our little um, disclaimer here. So by disclaimer on if you have any injuries, any issues, any conditions, concerns about your body, that some of these exercises may not be appropriate for you. Either don't do the exercise, do it at your own range of motion, do it slower, smaller, lighter load. Those are our keys when you have an injury or issue is a little bit slower, a little bit smaller, and a little bit less resistance. So finding your alignment, hips, knees, ankles always lined up. So I'm giving a couple, um, people a couple minutes to get on here as I give this neutral spine. So while we're standing, we want to make sure we're not in a sway back. And we want to make sure we're not in a super tucked rounded position. So we want to find that nice neutral where our ribs and hips are in line with each other. There might be a slight curve in our back, but we're not letting that pelvis tilt too far forward. So we want to engage those abdominals. And then when we do our squatting, we want to make sure we go back with the hips. Hinging, still keeping that neutral spine. Knees are over the shoelace part of the foot, not going over the toes. That will make your kneecap area not so mad. We don't make that patellofemoral joint mad. So we hinge hips and then knees to get that nice alignment and our abdominals draw in. Okay? When we do stuff in our turnout, we want no more than about a fist distance between our big toes. So it's a small rotation. Don't go back to the ballet world where we're over rotated here. We don't want to make those hips mad unless you are currently working in the ballet world, and then you do what you need to do. Otherwise, we turn out a little bit. Knees still track over that second or third toe. The turnout's from the hip, and the knees and toes follow. When you're in this position, you should be able to see your instep of your arches so that you know you're not falling in. So that's just some quick alignment stuff before we get going with this workout. All right, are y'all ready? I'm going to assume you said yes. I'm going to start with a little ball in my hand and getting the body nice and warm. We're going to start with a wide parallel position. It's okay if your body likes a little bit of turnout, but if you have the hip or SI joints, stay more parallel. But I am going to be just shoulder width apart, nice wide position. Holding the ball in my hand, I'm just going to start with some nice little squats. So take a big inhale, and as you exhale, sit it back and then rise back up. Push on the ball with your hands as you sit down and come back up. Hips go back. That alignment I just pointed out, so sit it back, rise it up. Sit back and stand up. Hinging hips and knees, nice and slow, just sitting back, pushing through that floor. Feel the energy go up your legs as you press up. Four more like this. Pressing four, three. And two. Last one, take that ball overhead. If overhead works for you, if not, always keep your shoulders down. Now pull your shoulders down on your back. Feel these armpit muscles, shoulder blades get stable. And I just want you to lift and lower your heels. Just wake up those ankles. You can have your hands down here if you prefer. Putting arms overhead to make the blood flow. Have to go a little further against gravity. <laughs> sort of, kind of. Three, two, and one. All right. So we're going to take that squat still in that wide position. We are going to turn just a little bit out. You can stay parallelish if you need to. So we're going to take this into a plie with a little arm circle. So I call this a, a diamond circle. So my arms, if you notice, are in a little diamond shape. As I go down into my squat or plie, I'm going to circle the arms down, bring them up to the top. I'm going to reverse it. So I'm going to go down, and up. So the ball is down as I'm down, and then on top it's overhead. 
and I'm going to reverse directions each time. So go down and up, down and up, breathing. And if you don't have a ball, you can hold something else or you can just have your hands overhead. One more time, each direction. Getting that movement nice and big and pause right here. All right, we're going to take this into just a little side bend. So come down about halfway into that plie or squat, whichever turn out of the hip works for you. So bring it about halfway and I just want you to tip to one side and then the other side. So feeling the abdominals, pull your elbow towards your knee and the top side gets a stretch. And we tip it over and we side bend and side bend. Feel that nice release and side bend. One more each side. Take it back into that squat we started with. So sit down, press it up. Down, press it up. Pull the ball down, push it up. Feel energy in those arm muscles. Breathing <laughs> for four, three, two, one. Now can you touch the floor and go back up? Only if this range is appropriate for you. Down and up. Trying to get the heat building in the body. Booty goes back, right? Hinge those hips. Hinge the knees. Two more. Two. One. Now actually bring it down. Can you put the ball on the floor? If not, hands can be on your shin. And then hold that position. Straighten your legs. Bend your legs. It's a stretch for that posterior side. Hamstrings, hips. Three, two, one. Bend, stand back up. Okay. Back to that slight turnout and that wide stance. We did those side bends a little bit ago. <laughs> okay. We're going to add a little lunge to that, but it's really just a weight shift. So I just want you to bend over as you put the weight to one leg. Come back up tall. Go the other way. So that knee is just a hinge. It's not going past my toes. It's more of a weight transfer with a side bend. A little weight transfer and then up. Okay? You got it? If you're okay with it, let's pick it up a little bit. Over. Over. Breathe. <laughs> yeah. Side bend. Shift that weight. Shift. Shift. <laughs> Four. Three. Two. Are you pushing on your ball? Last time that way. And bring it in. All right. So from here, we are going to do um, a little press out and in. So we're just going to do, you can repeat that same move if that's what works for your body, your toe can tap. We're just going to step out to that same side bend. And now bring the knee up or tap the foot on the floor. So we go down, bring it in. Plant your foot and then push off. Plant your foot and push off. Option, again, to just tap your toe, opposed to lifting it up. Press, press, press. Just a little lateral lunge here. Three more energy in that ball. Two, feel this side bend. Last time, and bring it in. Center squat, press back and up. Press back, press it back. Hinge, breathe, four, three, two, hold it right here, hold it, hold it, hold it, slowly stand back up. Okay, ready? We gotta step back out wide, hands overhead, side bend to the other direction, and up. You can stick with this basic part of the movement 
or take it into the tap and lift or just tap to the floor or find your knee. Three levels, hold, toe taps, or find your knee. Side bend, lateral flexion, as you go out and push up. We go out and push up. Breathe, out, pull it up, out, pull it up. Catch yourself with that leg. 
Two more like that. Now we're going to take it to a combo. So curtsy, go forward. Curtsy, go forward. If your body says no to the combo, pick one of the moves and stick with it. We're just doing it a little slower. Curtsy, pin forward. Curtsy, reach. Curtsy, reach. If you're feeling this in your kneecap, you're either going too far or your turnout doesn't match. So just check in that you feel muscles, not joints. Hold. Out. Bring it back in. Find that first Pilates stance. Okay, we gotta go the other way. So, other leg. Curtsy only. Tap. Curtsy. Tap. Curtsy. Tap. Step and back. And up. Curtsy. Three. Two. One. Pause for a second. Now we're going to step out. Out on that diagonal. Bring it back. Step out. Bring it back. Step out. Bring it back. Step out. Bring it back. Out. And back. Curtsy, tap to the side, curtsy, foot to the foot, 
curtsy, but to the knee. Pick which one works for you. Oops, lost my balance. Find yours. Curtsy, reach. And reach. Hinging over, sitting back, loading that standing leg glute to come up. We have five seconds. Four, three, two, hold, right into that fall forward, back, curtsy, reach, curtsy, reach, curtsy, reach. Again, always find your range. Take a big breath in. Use your abs to stabilize your spine. Use your breath to control. Four seconds. Last one. Bring it back to your curtsy. Upright with the torso. Down, all the way tall. Down, all the way tall. Little pressure on your ball. Breathe. Uh-huh. Four, three, two, one, and bring it in. All right, set your little ball to the side. We're gonna come down to the floor for a plank. So I'm gonna roll myself down or you can hinge and walk out to my plank position. If you need to be on your knees, that's okay. If you need to be on your forearms, that's okay. If you can be on your hands and your toes, that's okay. Find yours. Head in line with the spine. Shoulders down, wrists and shoulders lined up, or elbows and shoulders. Just hold it. Hold it for 10. If you need to lower down, you can always stop early. Squeeze all the muscles in your body. Pull your abs in. Open the front of the hips. Three, two, push back towards that up stretch or down dog for your rest position. All right, we're going to take it into our knee to the opposite elbow. So we're going to pull through and twist, come back, rotate, back. Shoulders stay still. And again, you can do this on your forearms. It'll just be a little smaller. One more each side, knees down, sit back into that shell stretch, child pose, rest position, breathe. <laughs> All right, from your knees or your toes, sweat towel if you need it, it was handy. So if you're going to go from your knees, I need you to be on your thigh above your kneecaps. We're going to do some push-ups, just a few sets of small. So I'm going to pull elbows back towards my rib cage and press up. Back and up. Three more times, like a little tricep push-up. Abs in. Two. One. Press it back. Okay. You can also just hold a plank or do a little scapular push if your wrists don't do this. I'm going to make a triangle shape with my hand, kind of like we do for salute. I'm going to come back to my knee plank and holding that little diamond or triangle shape right under my sternum, I'm going to press up and press up and press up. Just two more. And send it back. Okay, now we're going to take our hands wide at the width of your mat or shoulder height, chest height, and then we're going to do five push-ups here. Tight push, belly in, press it down and up. Think about drawing in those deep abdominals. Just two more, y'all. And then press it back. Okay, I'm gonna grab my um, set of dumbbells. Grab a quick drink if you need it, we're coming back up. Stopping movement, maybe start sweating a little more. Okay, if you don't have dumbbells, a water bottle is okay. We're just portraying gravity is extra heavy today. Okay, we're going to start in a lunge. I'm going to take my right leg back. I call these proposal lunges or carousel lunges. It's a, it's a traditional.
traditional fitness lunge. We're going to bend both knees as if I was going to the floor. I don't want you to bang your knee on the floor, but I want you to bend both knees. And then if my back was at carousel horse, I'm going to go straight up and down. If I would end up all the way down, you're in that proposal position. Okay? So, we're going to start with this leg. Arms are down by my side. I'm going to have my palms facing in so that my shoulders are nice and open. Bending both knees, I'm going to press my hands back, come up, press back. Think a little chest expansion from our Pilates method, that you're activating lats, a little bit of tricep, pull the arms back, pull the abs in, four more, three, two, hold it down, just hold abs in, shoulders down. Now, press your hands back a little bit. Give me a little tricep press. You can hinge a little bit if you need to. Just stay right there. Four, three, two, one. Hold those arms back. Tip your waist. You're in what I call the ski soap lunge, Bulgarian lunge, right? And then we're going to come back up and go down. Up, forward. Both knees bend. Front knee bends. Both knees bend. Front knee bends. Both. Tip. Down. Up. Find that front leg. Glute. Down. Forward. <laughs> down. Forward and hold. Now, can you bend that front leg a little bit? Now, I'm going to add a little row. A little row, a little row, five, Whoo, front leg's burning, four, three, two, one, step it up, shake it out if you need to, okay, so, other leg goes back, square hips and shoulders, start with your nice tall posture, abs in, bend both knees, come up, bend, and up. Let's add a little arm movement out to the side if your shoulders are okay with that. So just a little lateral raise, a little lateral raise. Stay to chest height, so I know you keep your shoulders safe. Lift. Both knees are bending. Yep. Abs in four, three, two, and one. Hold it down. Hold it down. Now, we shift forward, the back leg straightens. Weight's loaded on that front leg, okay? From here, we're gonna bend both knees, go back to that long line. Bend, reach those arms long, a couple more inches as you tip over. Keep abs in, keep the spine as neutral as you can. Big tendency to extend the spine here. Keep it long. Four, three, two, one. Bend it. Now, palms face back instead of in this time. And then I want you to wider row as you bend the front leg a little bit. Back leg's reaching long. Find that front glute. Pull, pull, push with the legs. It's more about the legs. Four, arms a little distraction. Three, and connection. Two, and one, and bring it up. Whew, Bur booty burn. <laughs> All right, so plie, wide, turn out second position. Watch that you don't over-rotate. Like I said at the beginning, turnouts from the hips, knees and toes follow. If you've got posterior lateral hip pain, or SI joint pain, please stay more parallel than turned out. And all of you, your feet were together, no more than a dumbbell or a fist twist between them. And then we're just wide, okay? Hands are gonna be in front of us, palms facing in. Just plie and up, plie. Knees over second toe, down, zip it up. Feel the inner thighs working to pull you up. As you root those heels into the ground, suction cup your arches, Four, three, 
two, one, bring it down. Palms up, elbows in by your side. Think our serving from Pilates, right? Down, reach it up, pull it back, reach, pull. Your hands stay from waist to the rib cage. Reach on the same angle that our legs are. Reach, sit, reach. Four, three, two, one. Bring it in. Palms up, shoulders down. Hold your little plie. Where do you Just open and close. A little scapular squeeze with a little extra rotation. Breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Roll your shoulders a second. Okay, holding a nice tall posture. Lift and lower your heels. Lift and lower your heels. Doesn't have to be more than a hover. Just a little lift and lower. Okay, okay there? That part is optional. We're gonna go down towards the floor. As we come up, bicep curl and raise your heels. Heels down, lower down, up, down, up. Pull, try not to swing the arms, but to pull the hand towards the shoulder. My arms are kind of glued to my rib cage, stabilizing that torso. Four, three, two, one, sit and stay. All right, palms are up. I'm gonna reach one up and forward, turning it down. So I'm gonna rotate as I reach and down. Keep it low, ditch the weights, or do as I'm doing. Holding your plie. Can you lift your heels and do it? Just a hover. Don't let those knees and hips rotate too much. Three, two, one, and bring it in. Stand up. Okay. So from here, hands can stay on your hips or on the front of your hip crease. We're going to parallel our feet, so no turnout. I want you to step wide and down. Step towards the leg direction you just went. Squat twice. Step back to center. Squat twice. Step towards the left leg. Sit twice. Okay, so we're gonna go middle. Two squats. First side, two close leg squats. Wide squat twice. Left side, close, two. Okay, add a little curl. Wide, curl, curl. When I'm narrow, I'm going palms up, supinated grip. When I'm close, I'm going hammer curl. Center, other side. Center, other side. Make sure you're not flinging the weights. We're gonna do one more to the center. Stand it up, okay. Adding on to that, if you're up for it, try not to do, I'm not gonna do anything with the arms here, I'm just gonna hold my hips. We're gonna go center, squat, hop, squat. So we're gonna do a little side to side. Together, wide, together, wide. You can step, much like we were doing in the last move, or add a little hop. If you want a little more heart, right to the pump button, booty back. And just in your hip crease, so the shoulders don't get affected here. Just another 10 seconds. You got this. Five seconds. And bring it in. Whew, right? Hopefully your heart rate got up there a little bit. Okay, so curtsy, individual side. With an overhead press, if it works for your shoulders. If not, you can do something different with the arms. I'm gonna start with my arms in. I'm gonna take my right leg back into a little curtsy, and then as I come up, I'm gonna reach my arms overhead, okay? So, curtsy and reach. Again, if overhead press is not appropriate for your shoulders, give it a tricep kick, give it a bicep curl, or just 
hold it still. Overhead motion does get the heart pumping a little bit more. I want three more. Two more. One more. Hold your curtsy. All right, from here. Lateral raise, just holding curtsy. Just out to the side a little bit. Abs in. Four, three, two, one. Step back up to your standing. Hands back by your shoulders. Other leg for me is left, goes back. Curtsy, press up as I tap. Curtsy, press. Curtsy, press. Aiming a little bit in front of you, opposed to straight up to the sky, is also a little nicer on your shoulders. Oops. <laughs> Talking and forgot to step back. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold your curtsy. Hands down, pointing towards your knee. Hold a little curtsy. Lateral raise. Lateral raise. Lateral raise. Four. Three. Two. One. Bring it back to center. Okay. We're going to alternate curtsy. So I'm going to go into hands down, dumbbells in front of my knee, up to center, curtsy, up to center. If you need to do something else with your arms, you may. You can always go back to the little rotate if you have shoulder stuff. So you're keeping it low. Think rear delt, unhug your tree. Uh-huh, back, back. Don't bang your knees with the dumbbell. It would smart a little bit. <laughs> I hope you're still with me. I'm dripping a little bit. <laughs> curtsy, lift, one more. Curtsy, lift, and bring it in. Roll your shoulders back and down. Okay, so from here, we're gonna get rid of the weights. Oh, I could, I almost forgot one. We're gonna go back to that wide squat position, and then we are going to do our hug a tree. So as you sit back, reach your arms out, bring it in. So we're going to serve just straight out. Four more. Three. Two. Hold. Palms in. Open and close. I'm going to tip over so you can see the angle, right? So from the back muscles, close, open. Feel those muscles all around your shoulder blades. Protracting and retracting, or opening and closing the shoulders. You can go lower if your shoulder prefers that. Feel the muscles on the back. Two and one, and bring it in. All right, so hinge it over a little bit. Bring your hands to the back of your head. Watch the spine, pull the abs in, and an overhead salute. Hands towards the back of your head, and then reach a little bit apart. So I'm bringing elbows wide, and then out, out. Shoulders are still down, flat shoulder blades, down on my back, last four, and three, and two, and one, and bring it down. All right, now we're gonna get rid of the weights. Grab your little ball again for me. We're gonna do our squat knee raise one more time, okay? So. Squeezing the ball, shoulders down, sit back, reach the ball toward as you lift the knee. Sit and reach, sit and reach. Keep those abdominals working. I will tell you right now in case that helps, this is our last standing exercise. Reach, reach, reach. One more each side. Pause in your little squat. Give me a halfway up and down in your middle range. For four, push and pull with muscles. Three, we're gonna do our rotation. Okay, sit. As you rise up, twist to the front knee. Squat, twist. And again, you can tap the foot, tap the toe, 
or lifting me. Whichever one works for you at this point in the game. And twist. And twist. We have 10 seconds. Breathe. Sit. Rise. Sit. Rise. Last time. And bring it in. All right. Very good. So from here, step back out to that wide. Hands overhead. We're going to bend down and then side bend. Side bend. Pressing into the ball or your fists together if you don't have the ball. And twist. Over. Sorry, side bend. Over. Over. You could be upright, but just a little bend helps us keep the hips still. All right, ready? That circle we started with. We're going to go down, around, and up. Down, around, and up. Adding that as we go down with the hands, we're down with the legs, up tall. It's a U-turn. Every time you're at the top, you go the other way. Down. So we're going to cool it down the same way we brought it up. Down. And up. Down. And up. One more time you side. Down and up, down and up, and bring it down. All right, y'all, we're gonna come down to the floor. Do our little earthquake abs to finish this off, to make sure we got some core. So if you have a little ball, it's gonna go behind your low back like a little bunny tail, kind of acting as a door stopper as well. If you have a pillow or a sweatshirt, something to protect that low back to help you engage is great. Hold on to the back of your thighs. We're going to just find the back edge of the sits bones and then back. So we're about a 45 degree angle there. Pull your abs into the ball and reach your hands forward. Come up an inch and down an inch. Just a little lift and lower with that whole shape. Uh huh. Four, three, two, one. Hold it back if you can. Right there, hold. Hold, shoulders down, abs in. Sit all the way up for a moment. All right, we're going to open our arms up to the sky and circle them back down to our shins, holding that little lean back. So these are that earthquake series. You might feel a little quiver, okay? So find back edge of pose. Lean back on that 45-ish degree. Hands up overhead. Circle them down and around to your knees. Reach up. Circle them around. Inhale. Only thing moving are my arms. I mean, my abs are quivering a little bit, but they're not going anywhere. Reach and circle, pause, other way for five, up and down. If you need to sit up, please do so. Otherwise, keep going, we have three more. Circle, open, up, down, open, up, down. Bring yourself up tall. All right, we gotta get the, um, Obliques one more time. So feet planted. Hold your thighs. to find your back edge of the sits bone. So just ever so slightly tilt to the pelvis. And then lean it back. Reach your arms out. Bow and arrow. Pull one elbow back. Look over that shoulder. Come back to the center. Reach the other way. Rotate. Rotate. We got our obliques a lot. As we did that framing the face. Diamond side bend in circles. One more each side, twist, pull those abs in, twist, and sit all the way back up, okay? The ball is gonna go at about your shoulder blades. So you're gonna lay back, your knees can stay bent. If you need to support your head, feel free and do so. Otherwise, your hands can be down by your side. All right, we are gonna do some hundreds, okay? With some variation here. So I just want you to start pumping the arms, if you can. If you need to support your head, just pump one arm. That's okay. So breathing in and out. Now can you bring your left leg to tabletop? And then reach it out long and pull it in. Reach it long and pull it in. Reach it long, pull it in. Reach it in and out. Pumping those arms, bring it in. Put that foot down, keep pumping your arms. 
Keep those spines pretty neutral, but a little flexion in that upper. So your eye gaze is kind of towards your pelvis. Now take that leg out long and pull it in. You're feeling a little squish if you're on that ball, right? Try not to deflate the ball, but to stay pulled in in your abs. And that keeps the ball inflated or not squished. Reach the leg, pull it in, reach the leg, pull it in, reach, pull, one more reach, pull, foot down, hands down, hands behind your head, lean back over the ball, stretch out those abs. Breathe right there. Okay, supporting your head, nod your chin towards your chest, rounding yourself up, and then bring yourself all the way up. Okay, from here, I want you to straighten your legs out. Long. Put the ball on top of your shins, and then, as if it's an axis wheel, and the ball can just spin on your fingertips, I just want you to roll the ball towards your toes, flexing forward, and then extending back tall. So the ball just kind of rolls with this to guide us where we want to go towards your toes and roll the ball back up. One more time, roll it forward, spine stretch forward, and then bring it up. All right, put the ball under your right hand, left hand out to the side, and then we're going to do a variation of a saw. So we're just going to roll that ball diagonally and then reach forward and back up. You can separate your feet like your traditional saw if that feels better to you. Either way, you can also sit cross-legged and just roll the ball out, stretching the lateral hip on the opposite side and the shoulder and bring it in. Other side. So roll the ball kind of on the same angle that your knees are if you're cross-legged and then reach the other arm away. Try to keep that opposite hip down so we get that stretch. One more time, stretch, and bring it in. Ball under my right hand in line with my hip and torso. Left hand up to the sky. I'm gonna roll it out, push it into the ball, and then I'm gonna bring it back up. Two more that side. Reach it over and pull it up. Reach it over and pull it up. Ball to the other hand. Hand to the sky. Straight arm on that ball. Roll it a little bit away and come back up. Two more times. Roll it over and up. Reach it over and up. And that concludes Kara's cardio on Monday morning. <laughs> I hope you all have a great rest of your day. If you need more stretching, feel free to do it. Are you glistening as much as I am? I shouldn't have shown that to the camera. <laughs>